Hello YouTube, it's the Piggy Pig Pallies here. So, sorry that I haven't really been doing many videos. It's only because my internet got cut off because Virgin phoned and said that basically it was paying too much for what we're getting. So they said, look, we're going to cut it off and then we're going to come out in a couple of days, set you up all new boxes and new internet. So it's all done now, but hopefully it's quicker, which is what they've proclaimed it to be. So... I got them like a little hay rack off eBay, which I think was £5, and I'm really happy with it because, you know, as soon as I put it in, I went the hay rack munching and, you know, so I'm sorry about the light. I don't know what it's like without the light on, but hey ho. So, yeah, um, I've literally just cleaned them out, and so you all know, I was doing a fleece vs. Uh, versus bedding, but it kind of went to pot after the internet got cut off, so I'm going to like start again. So this is basically day one again. So it's freshly just been put down. It's from Pets at Home. Um, let's have a look. Yeah. Um, so they've just got their little houses in, which are made for her. And I just thought that that was really cute. So I put them one each in because I've, I've noticed that they tend to argue over everything. So I put them two of those in. Got them a tunnel. That was their old hay rack over there, but I kind of left it in there. I don't know why. Got like a little bridge, which they could fit under before. But now that they're starting to really grow big, um, I'm going to like get the bigger version. Then they've just got their pigaloo with half a chewed flower on it. And their food bowl. Their little... Um, Oh, do you know what? I don't know what it's called. It's like a little chew log for hamsters, but they liked it. And then, one second. Got them this big tunnel, which is £5 as well, and I absolutely love it. So, that's what it's like inside. It's got, like, three openings, and literally Gus is, like, like climbing up there and just, like, leaning up there. Like, when I was, when I was cleaning out the girls, he was watching me, bless him. So that's why the room's pretty messy because I've just done the girls and I've just done the boys. So there's little Gus down there. Bless him. So Gus has been coming out with me every single day this week, like coming out for lap time. Bear's not as much interested because he's a bit of a fidget at. He's, he's never still. He's always like trying to get off and get off the bed. So I find it stresses him out more than what it, it should make him happy so I've reduced the time at the moment because I don't like making him stressed because um, every single time I give him his antibiotics I used to take him out the cage just to make sure it went in his mouth ah uh -uh, no see what I mean it's, it's starting to be a bit naughty so I got him some more toys hello baby so I got him some more toys I mean they do do this but they've never actually harmed each other they haven't um drew blood or anything like that so they are okay it's just kind of friendly banter um so yeah i'll just stand up just give you a bit of an overview of the cage so it's not much different really just a new hay rack a new tunnel um a new hidey house it's kind of it at the moment i am waiting for some more things to come so yeah that's the boys um so yeah thanks for watching bye